Here are the two easiest ways to remove Final Cut Pro from your Mac. Whether you want to get rid of Final Cut, why would you want to, it's the best, or start with a fresh install, I'll show you how to remove Final Cut Pro completely, including some hidden files most tutorials skip. And at the end, I'll show you how to properly reinstall Final Cut Pro and why sometimes it takes up so much space. Okay, before you delete anything, you have to back up your projects and the app. This will save so much headache in the future. Trust me, I've skipped backups before and I've always regretted it. All right, step one, picture perfect preferences. In Final Cut Pro, open preferences by clicking Final Cut Pro in the menu and selecting preferences or pressing command comma. Take note of any settings you've changed because you'll have to manually restore them when you reinstall Final Cut. A quick and handy way is to just take a screenshot of your preferences. Use Shift Command 3 to take a full screenshot or Shift Command 4 to capture just a section of your screen. Take a screenshot of each preference tab. Your screenshots are saved to your desktop by default and are named with the date and time. Rename your screenshots so you can easily find them later. Step two, back up, baby. It's important to back up the app in itself in case you need to reinstall it or go back to a previous version. In Finder, click on Go, select Applications, or press Shift-Command-A to open the Applications folder. Create a new folder and name it with the Final Cut Pro version number. For example, name it Final Cut Pro 10.6.4. You can tell what version of Final Cut Pro you have by opening the application and choosing About Final Cut Pro from the menu. Back in the Applications folder, right-click on Final Cut Pro and select Compress. It's a big app, so give it a few minutes to finish. When done, move the Final Cut Pro.zip file into the folder you created, and then move the folder to a backup drive. Next, back up your libraries. The easiest way is to copy the library to another backup drive, but first you should consolidate your library. In Final Cut Pro, select your library, Open the file menu and select Consolidate Media. To save space, uncheck Optimized and Proxy Media and then click OK. Once the consolidation is done, copy and paste your library to a backup drive. You can also keep your app and libraries backed up with a full backup solution like Time Machine or Crash Plan. I use Crash Plan to back up my entire computer and external hard drives. It's worth it and it will save you in a pinch. Step four the deadly delete. All right, now that you're backed up, you can safely and worry-free delete Final Cut Pro. Press Command Space Bar to activate Spotlight. Type Final Cut Pro, then press and hold the Command key and double click on Final Cut Pro. This will open the app in the Applications folder. Now select it. Press Command Delete or drag the app to the trash or choose File Move to Trash. If you're asked for a username and password, enter an admin username and password, which is probably the name and password you use to log in to your Mac. Finally, choose Finder, Empty Trash, or press Shift-Command-Delete. In a sec, I'll show you those hidden files to delete. Hey there, are you ready to delete Final Cut Pro? Has this video been helpful? If so, give it a like so others can see this video, and in a moment, I'll show you how to reinstall a fresh copy of Final Cut Pro. You can also delete Final Cut Pro from the App Store. Open the App Store by pressing Command Spacebar, this is Spotlight, and type App Store. Select the App Store and press Enter. Click on your profile in the lower left corner and find Final Cut Pro. Hover over the Open button until you see a circle with three dots. Click on this circle and select Delete App. Then click Delete App again in the confirmation window. Back in Finder, hold down the Option key, press Go, and select Library. In the Application Support folder, select the Final Cut Pro folder and press Command-Delete to remove it. Go back to the Library folder and open the Caches folder. Select and delete com.apple.finalcut. Go back to the Library folder and open the Preferences folder. Select and delete any com.apple.finalcut files. Goodbye, Final Cut Pro. You will be missed. But not for long with step five, the Radiant Reinstall. You can reinstall Final Cut Pro from the App Store or a backup. If you want the latest version of Final Cut Pro, use the App Store. If you want a previous version, use a backup. 
I'll show you how to do both. Open Spotlight, Command plus Spacebar, and search for the App Store, then press Enter once it's selected. In the App Store, search for Final Cut Pro and click on the Cloud Download button to install. Wait a few minutes and you'll have Final Cut back on your Mac. To reinstall a previous version, double click on the backup zip file you made earlier and simply drag and drop Final Cut into the applications folder. Double click on the app to open it and you've got Final Cut ready to rock. Press Command comma to open preferences and use your screenshots to set your personal preferences. Happy editing! Now that you've learned how to remove Final Cut Pro from your computer, you may want to check out this video I made called Why Does Final Cut Pro Take Up So Much Space? I show why Final Cut gets so big and what to do about it. Click here to check it out.